halt. Where are you going? Why? Answer the question or you will be detained. I have an appointment. The streets are unsafe. Return to your home or business to conduct your appointment remotely. I'm seeing my doctor. What is the name and business location of your doctor? They have... Dr. Roman Zelenka. His office is in Sasadri Tower. You are Zoe Maya Castillo, a resident of Sonnenshine Plaza Terraces by OCG. Are you asking me a question? Stay off the streets, Miss Castillo. It's for your own protection. Sure it is. Proceed. Crowbar is here to help you find your way in pro pass. Hey, you lost. No problem. Nella claims those towers release chemicals that keep the populace subdued and compliant, but her argument is self-defeating. She breathes the same air and she is not compliant. I wasn't sure you'd make it today. What with the Panzer Pandu out in force? Say hello to our new robot overlords. It was touch and go. Were you waiting for me? I don't do apologies. Okay. What happened to Carl? Confiscated. After The Hand published their story about the collective and grey market imports, the district refused to renew my license and I refused to move. So those cowardly mecha cunts hold Carl away. Oh my god. Nella, I'm so, so sorry. Eh, not your fault. The sausages gave your chorbo the shits and he wrote a story about it. Mega chungo, but fair shakes. Anyway, I will fight them, all the way to the top. The legal wheels are turning. But this isn't why I wanted to talk to you. Last week. When you bumped into me outside the collective, I was confrontational. I didn't mean to be. You don't do apologies, Nela. You're right, so shut up and accept it. Accepted. So why were you confrontational? Paranoia, Zozo. I'm just on edge with this party business. No big deal.
Pot? What's going on? <sighs> Manifestos starting to come apart at the seams. Too many conflicts of interests. Ribas is having a tough time keeping everyone in line. There's no consensus about strategy, about what to do to get people to open their eyes and see what's really going on in this city. Some want to keep doing what we have been doing. Peaceful protests, debate, passing out pamphlets. Others want to take more radical action. Like what? It's politics, Zozo. You know how it is. The hardest part is agreeing on a common agenda. I'm not sure it matters. We're last in the polls and it'll take a miracle to change that. But anyway. You were asking me about Hannah Roth. I'm looking for her. Why? Oh, it's complicated. Queenie, you know, the Babka on the boat down Sure, in... everyone knows her. Queenie asked me to look for Hannah, to find out if she's okay or not okay, I guess. Why the hell would she be asking you? Campaign business. I'm trying to get her to officially support Leia Uminska. Ah, it's all starting to make sense. Do you know Hannah? She runs errands for merchants in Propast, does odd jobs for anyone willing to pay. She's helped me out a few times, deliveries mostly, and also... Well, that's how I know Hannah. But I don't know where she lives. I don't know who her friends are, I don't know how to get hold of her. So, why...? She runs a gang, all homeless girls, the Dragonflies. They operate out of the underground here in Propast. They do odd jobs, legit jobs, but also other jobs. Like crime? Like crime, Zozo. Pickpocketing, fencing, smuggling, selling unlicensed dreams. Drugs. Keep an eye out for the dragonfly symbol and the girl with short pink hair and piercings. That'll be Hannah. Oh, I appreciate it, Nella. I'm sorry about getting involved in your affairs last week. And good luck getting Carl back. We'll be back in business before you know it. They can't keep the people down. Time to go squeeze some government testicles until they release my food cart. I hope you find Hannah. How are things between you and Reza? They're... okay. Just okay. Rocky. And... how do you feel about that? Nothing's changed. I love Reza. We're having a tough time, but it's worth fighting for. I feel good. I feel fine. I try not to think too much about it. Listen to your own feelings. Be aware of them. I will. In our last session... Last week. Uh, last week, uh, you said you want to remember. Right. About what happened before the coma. Yeah. Is that still the case? I haven't changed my mind. I need to go back before I can move forward. I want to remember. Yep. Okay. Good. I think it's right of you to focus on remembering. I believe it will help you... wake up. W wake up? W what do you mean? I, I am awake. Oh, wait, sorry, I I'm getting a call. Do you need to take it? Uh, it's, it's just Baruti, my campaign manager. I'm, I'm sure it can wait. Sorry about that. Where were we? D what did you mean by waking up? Are you sleeping well? Uh, no, not really, no. And why is that? I, I dream. A lot. They're very vivid dreams. Lucid. Not like... like normal dreams at all. Do you remember these dreams? I think my dreams are important. If I talk about them, maybe Roma can help me figure them out. Yeah, they're... 
They're almost always the same. There's a temple in the clouds, surrounded by tall mountains, all misty and white. There's a strange, um, man who speaks in riddles, and... and an ape-like creature on a... a floating chair. I know, it's odd, it, it's crazy. What else? There's a child, or... I don't know, it looks like a child. She, or he, is very ill. If the child dies, the dream ends. We all vanish. All of us? Everything. The, the universe, reality. What does it mean? I'm... not sure. Do you think your dreams are related to your memory loss? Crazy as that may seem, I feel they do. Maybe not literally, as in I've forgotten meeting a floating ape creature. It feels that way, but that's bonkers. I don't think I could have forgotten meeting a floating ape and a man-creature speaking in riddles, right? And... oh, no, I can't tell Roman that. Crazy as that may... yeah, well, y you know. They may be a signal that some memories are beginning to re-emerge. You think so? Dreams are never just dreams. They can be mirrors, reflecting our darkest fears and deepest desires. They can provide us with clues to who we are. They can... stir memories. But let's leave that for next week. Our time is up. Today was another step forward, Zoe. Regardless of what you do or do not remember, I want you to think about what I said. About working on your memories. About remembering. You really should write down your dreams, you know. It will help you remember. I should head out, leave you to your note-taking. Always taking notes, that's me. See you next week, Zoe. Same time, same place. You betcha. I thought we agreed you wouldn't show up at my office. I am not comfortable with this. She just left, by the way. Hey, you probably passed her on the way in. She would have seen you. I'm a ghost, Dr. Zelenka. People do not see me unless I let them. What have you learned? Well, she wants to remember. And will she? I don't know. Eventually, probably. You know what to do if she does. You've made that very clear. What else would you like to tell me today? She's not sleeping well. It's her dreams. She used the words vivid and lucid. She told me about one recurring dream. I'm not sure what to make of it, but maybe your employer? Uh, something about a temple in the clouds. Mountains, riddles, talking apes. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that she detests dream machines, I'd say she'd been using one. Oh, and she also said something about a sick child. If the child dies, the dream ends. Everything ends. Miss Castillo has a very vivid imagination. I doubt it means anything, but there you are. Your doubts, Dr. Zelenka, have been noted. In your professional opinion, is she starting to remember? Not unless she did go to a temple in the clouds to meet talking apes. That is all. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, how much longer will I need to do this? Without us, you would have nothing. Do you not want it to continue? Uh, I... Until she remembers. Until then. And if that never happens? Then we terminate. Good day to you, Dr. Zelenka. <clears throat> I just paid the doctor a visit. He tells me she has her mind set on remembering what occurred last year. Yes, Zelenka does believe she will remember in time. There's another thing we just learned. She has vivid dreams, as you said she would. She spoke to him about it. The doctor mentioned a temple in the clouds, mythical creatures, riddles. I'm sending you the recording. She described these dreams to him as particularly vivid, almost like visions. Yes, 
lucid dreaming without a dream machine. Sehr gut, Fräulein. I will contact you immediately if I hear anything else. I have ears in all places. The moment she remembers, we will know. Sorry, I was with my therapist when you called earlier. Hey, Sissy. Uh, no worries. Can we meet? I'm not working today, so absolutely. Should I come by the campaign office? Let's meet somewhere else. I'm by the river, right next to the memorial fountain in Vista Vista. Uh, uh, yeah? Sh sure. W when? Now? Uh, whenever you're available. I'll be there. All right. Uh, uh, see you soon. I'm a bit creeped out by the talking bins. Thanks for coming, Sissy. Why CC. do they talk? Of course. What shadowy well, masters what's up? do they serve? Last week, when you asked me about Constantine Wolf, I told you I was looking into Bukamba Mesa's accounts. I also remember telling you to be careful. I was. I am. It, it's just... I was hoping to find evidence of Wolf taking corporate payoffs. And? I found something. A... Uh, discrepancy pointing to our campaign to unity to Leia Uminska what sort of discrepancy this is why I wanted to meet you outside I don't know if they have the office under surveillance if they're monitoring my iris or my wire access seriously what's going on I don't know yet but I need to find out my contact at Bokama Mesa came across transactions between the Syndicate and Unity. There's money being funneled into our campaign from places money shouldn't be coming from. Corporate money. It could be just a, a, a misunderstanding. There might be a good explanation for it, but it could also be... serious. It could be serious. So I need to dig deeper. The trouble is, I don't know if they're watching me. I, I can't risk it. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important, Sissy. Look, if Leia Uminska is taking bribes, or worse, I want to know. So, what is it you need me to do? Access Unity servers and download the data. How exactly am I going to do that? Just log in with my iris and wire ID? The eye would be onto you in minutes, Sissy. No. You'll need a rogue data sniffer and a government-grade black mask protocol. And you'll need to use multiple accounts and access points to transfer all the data. Stay logged in for too long in one location. They could pin you down. Look, I completely understand if you say no. It is illegal, and it can get us both into a lot of trouble. I understand. I do, I do have reservations, but I don't... I'll do it. Where do I begin? Before he jumped ship, my contact made an anonymous drop with all the information we need. I can't risk transmitting it to you, even locally, in case they're monitoring my iris. I've put everything on this crypto coin. Wire addresses, shadow accounts. Use this to transfer the data back to me after you're done. Now, before you get started, You'll need a rogue data sniffer and a black mask protocol. You know Mira at the pandemonium? 
They're located in the BRICS. She trades in grey market merchandise. Mira, pandemonium. While you're acquiring the data, I'll go to the office to join a remote campaign meeting. If they're somehow alerted to the intrusion, I'll have an alibi. We'll have time to pull out and cover our tracks. Cover our tracks? Oh, Jesus, this is really happening. <laughs> it's happening. I'll contact you later and let you know where to meet me. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'll do my best. That right there is why I don't use a dream machine and why I, th I think just disconnecting them from the dream machine could be dangerous. And I'd probably get beaten up for trying to help. Stay safe. Stay inside. Hey there. Hey, what are you up to? Oh, this and that. How are things here? Any inside information on our burgeoning police state? I wish. Everyone wants answers. Why have the Syndicate sent in the big guns? Why isn't the government saying anything? It's a mess. One of those exosuits got in my face this morning, asked me where I was going. I thought about not answering, but I chickened out. Probably a good idea. Call me a coward, but I didn't want to argue with someone carrying an assault rifle. We really thought the clampdown would be a temporary thing, a, a, a show of force, but... I heard rumours about a curfew. Well, it's possible. I mean, why else would they send in Robocop? Robocop? The exosuits. Outside of active war zones, I've never seen so many of them in one place. And we're in Propass, not Washington, D.C. So, yeah, we're still trying to get to the bottom of it. But this thing goes deep. If anyone can, it'll be you guys. So, uh... So... Uh... What, what were you... Did you... No, no, you, you, you go first. No, go ahead. No, it was nothing, really. What are you up to? I'm doing a favour for Baruti. Some campaign stuff. In fact, I should probably go and do that thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. I should work. There's, a uh, uh, stuff to do. What about dinner? We- I haven't made dinner in ages. There's a reason for that, of course. My dinners are of variable quality. We usually get a takeaway. Maybe we should go out. Last time we did that was in Trieste. Feel Want to go out for dinner? We can, just as long as we go somewhere- Inoffensive, of course. Oh, you're putting words in my mouth. Am I? Sometimes I feel you're not particularly open to new things. I get you something new for lunch, you hate it. You're blaming me for getting sick. How do you know it was the pork sausages? Maybe it was, I don't know, your risotto. Uh, I was vomiting all night. I don't think the risotto... Whatever. I wanted you to challenge yourself. That was a terrible idea. We should just stick with the same old. And then maybe Nayla would still be in business. <laughs> Don't blame me for the fact that she bought illegal, contaminated, organic meat and let her license expire. You didn't have to write an article about it. Why, well, and instead let a dodgy importer continue to sell dangerous food? Besides, this isn't even about that. This is about you forcing your choices on me. Are you saying I'm controlling? No, but I think you need to consider that your choice may not be the only choice. Oh, forget it. This is neither the time nor the place. We'll talk later. Yeah, later. Look, I need to run. Message me, okay? We'll figure out dinner. Fine. Hey, Sully. Zoe, you're a sight for tired old eyes on this infernal day. 
I do hope you're not here with another delivery of sausages. I fear for Reza's life if he has to go through that ordeal again. The poor boy has the stomach of a newborn lamb. There's no proof it was the pork sausages, Sully. Besides, you guys already got Nella's cart confiscated. No more organic meat for anyone. It was in the public's best interest. My friend's out of work and the collective's out of business. Would you rather they kept selling their contaminated meat? Well, I'm truly sorry about your friend, but it was newsworthy. I just feel really guilty bringing it to your attention. Let's not talk about it now. So, dear girl, is this a social call or a professional one? Just saying hello? It's my day off and I was in the neighborhood. A social call? Those are my favorite calls. I'm glad you took the time to see me today. How are you, Fistic? Yeah, good. Good. I'm... I'm good. One more good and you'll have me convinced. Ah, uh, I don't want to overdo it. But I really am... good. No, I don't believe you at all. And how's work? Ada's gone this week, so... yeah. Quiet. I'm back in the lab tomorrow, though. There's science to be done. How about you? Well, the world's falling apart around us and we're quite possibly facing an armed curfew in a few days, so... I'm fantastic. You know, the more people stay inside, the more time they have on their hands, the more they need us to provide them with news. To tell the truth, I'd prefer slightly less drama and slightly fewer battle suits in the streets, but the cynical newsman in me rejoices. <laughs> I thought you were all cynical newsmen. Age has a way of smoothing the sharp edges, my dear. But I am honestly concerned. I don't fully understand what's happening. The Syndicate's reasons are unclear, the government's gone into full communication lockdown, and no one's talking. It's a dangerous mess. Elections do bring out the worst in people. You think the eye's increasing security because of the elections? I... do not. Something else is afoot. They want the people to stay indoors. They want everyone logged into dream time. They want no eyes on the street. And this does worry me. Look, I have my worried face on. It's a very worried face. Anyway, I'm off. You're a breath of fresh air, Fistic. Come by any time. Oh, sure, I'll just start writing a story about, mm, let's see, memory loss, living in denial, daddy issues. I've got plenty of personal experience to draw on. The eye in the sky watches so you don't have to. Help us help you. Stay inside and comply with all eye directives without delay.
A dragonfly. That girl must be one of Hannah's hey. gang. Hey! The girl used the hatch to go underground. There's a notch on the side. Weird. The vent that girl disappeared through is connected to one of those, um, mystery tower thingies. Those towers are all over Propast. Are there vents below all of them? Maybe Crowboy can give me a layout of all the towers in Propast. Crowboy's here to help you find... Well, if it ain't my favorite cowgirl. Can I point you in the direction of something, darling? It would really... Do you have a map of the vent towers in Propast? Say what, now? You know, the striped towers with the steam coming out of them. They're all over the place. Hold your horses, cowgirl. Your request is being processed. Well, shucks, you're talking about the WPG. The W what now? The old wireless power grid, WPG. They shut that down years ago. The towers are still up, but they're inactive. So why is there smoke coming out of them? Oh, the steam's no mystery. That's just a side effect of opening a hole into the old pro past underground. If I were you, I'd be more curious about the towers that don't have steam coming out of them. Okay. Can you send me a map of Propast with all the, uh, the WPG towers? Open a connection to Crowboy, partner. One tourist map of Propast coming right up. I hope you get to where you're going. And if you ever get lost again, you know Crowboy's got your back. Avoid threatening juicy double cutaway cuts. There's no steam coming out of this vent. It's cool to the touch. It's quiet. I don't hear anything. Oh, hi there, sir and door madam. You have got to be fucking kidding me. How do you feel about your current insurance plan? I've warned you time and again not to... On a scale from 0 to 10, how satisfied are you with your insurance premium? Activate parameter defenses. You answered 0. I'm going to go ahead and offer you an incredibly good deal on workplace insurance for the low, low, low price of Activate 20... Activate defenses! Fry that mother shooting rust bucket! Thank you for accepting this very generous offer for a lifetime workplace insurance package. Please repeat your full name to digitally sign the agreement with Original Consumer Goods and to begin enjoying your new insurance. Activate defenses now! Activate! Activate! Thank you for digitally signing your new lifetime insurance package. All sales are final and there are no refunds. Power on! Fry the fucker! Activate! Thank you, sir and or madam, and have a wonderful afternoon. Well, shitting shit. Garned! Shit! Our shitting defenses are down again. Shit! Shit! Shitting shit! And without any maintenance spots in inventory, I'm going to have to hire a contractor to fit the mother chording chodu. Once again, the god shit in my face! What do you want, Kutria? Wait, I know you. You're the chicken tikka I met by the river last week. I thought I told you to stop by. I'm sorry, I, I didn't have time to... What do you want? Come on, Banjord. Time's you on. Um, uh, looking to buy something. Grey. Illegal? Grey market? Special import? No. Well, yes. 
I'm the bitch you're looking for. What do you need? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for... I need to log into a server and download some data without getting caught. Getting caught? Easy. You do know this is a corporate crime, Betel. If you're not able to help me, then... Chill, Gadar. I'm perfectly willing to provide a sniffer and cloak. As long as you don't drag the corpse to my door when they arrest you. I'll just deny everything anyway. I won't. Uh, tell anyone. Stand still, Petal. What? Why? Upgrading your iris. I need admin access. Chop, chop. But I... Hey, what are you doing? Implanting hypnotic suggestions to have you assassinate Constantine Wolf. What do you think I'm doing? Like I said, upgrading your iris. Do you want the software or not? Okay, just don't... Turn you into a drooling vegetable? I'll try my best, Petal. There you go. That's it? Just try moving your fingers. Moving my... God, Van Jord. It's a joke. You're fine. Although, I would be happier if you could try wiggling your fingers for me. Okay. Good. There's been reports of a loss of motor function with this new firmware. I just wanted to make sure. What? You're fine, Petal. No reason to freak out. The sniffer won't perform miracles. You'll need to do some legwork. But you look fit. Use it to locate secure wire singularities. You'll need to connect to multiple nodes to download all the data. Don't stay too long in one spot, or you might get caught. Also, don't expect the sniffer to work indoors. Too much interference. You'll find the software in your iris HUD. Look for the skull and crossbones. Crossbones? I have a reputation to maintain, Petal. Questions? Uh, about a million? Too bad, Kutia. Tech support is extra, and you can't afford it. But I'll give you a ring once you're on your way to help you get started. Also, you'll need my help deciphering whatever it is you're downloading. Mm, maybe I'll do that. I'm the only one who can decrypt the data after you've downloaded it. So it's not like you have a choice, Petal. Now scoot. I'll call you up as soon as you activate the sniffer. But you'll need to do that outside. Too much interference inside. That must be Wit, Mira's partner. He programmed Kidbot's personality, so that immediately makes him a million times more likable than Mira. Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay in touch with your body dreams. Man, things. get your man The streets are dangerous. Avoid the streets. You crowds are the same. Avoid crowds. Mira's app. Iris, please activate Mira's cloak and turn on secret agent Zoe. I hate to admit it, but this is a bit exciting. Okay, Mira's calling. I just got a ping from your iris. Your vitals look normal, so I'm guessing my software didn't cause any permanent neural damage. Yet. Oh, for God's sake. Here's what you need to know, Petal. This is not a magic wand. You can't just wave it around and... Well, actually... It is a magic wand. Once you activate it, it'll scan for hidden wire singularities. 
The closer you are to a secure access point, the stronger the signal. You'll receive visual and oral indicators. Once you're close enough, you can establish a direct link. Log in and start downloading your data. Don't stay too long in one spot. Use multiple access points, or the syndicate sniffers could track you down. All set? Wait, I don't know if I Come can... Come back when you have the data, and I'll decrypt it for you. And remember, Kutia, if you get caught, we never fucking met. <sighs> Wait, there's a hidden access point on Queenie's boat? That's odd. Who operates their own singularity? I can't use her singularity to download the data. I won't risk Queenie getting caught up in this. to the touch it's quiet I don't hear there's no steam coming out of this vent circuitry or a fan this one looks active whatever that means the eye in the sky watches so you there's a wire access point inside OCG's artificial sun just like everyone's been saying all eye directives without delay Building the new Europe, but I think those are meant to represent reaching for the sun or ne- All right, let's do this. First account, logging in. Ah, oh, success. Downloading the first chunk of data. Oh shit, Cloak's giving me a warning. I need to log out. I got 37%. Yeah, okay. I'll need to find another access point and use the second account. Something's stuck in the hatch. This one's cold. Nope, nothing. It's inactive, I think. There's a live access point inside. Weird. I haven't ever seen anyone use this lab. Here we go again. Logging in. Downloading. And time to pull out. 81%. Almost there. One more access point and I should have all the data.
Stand time outside, breathing toxic fumes. There's an access point embedded in the base of the Wati logo. Makes sense. Last one. I'm getting paranoid about warning signals going off somewhere. 97%. 98? Oh, that's it. That's all of it. Yay, Zoe! Oh, shit. It's encrypted. Just like Mira said it would be. Well, I don't have a choice. I'll have to go back to see Mira. I think just disconnecting them from the dream machine could be dangerous, and I'd probably get beaten up for trying to help. Disrupting traffic. Keep walking. Completely stuck. That girl must have dropped this coming out of the hatch. It's some sort of tool. Comply with all demands immediately. Do not resist. Do not question.
Much of it's the middle of the day. I haven't reached the tipping point quite yet. The following is a security announcement. It won't budge. There's a lock. I think I need the right tool to open this. Nope, that doesn't fit the lock on this hatch. Nope, doesn't fit. into the lock, but I can't pull it open without some sort of... I'll need a tool to open this. I think I need a handle for this key. It won't budge. There's a lock. I think I need the right tool to open this. Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay in touch with your body dream machines. Feel free to move on. The streets are dangerous. There are better tables, Avoid more the space. Crowds are unsafe. Avoid crowds. It's cool to the touch. The eye in the sky watches so you don't have to. Help us help you. Stay inside and comply with all eye directives without delay. It's warm. Almost hot. There's a hum, like this one looks active, whatever that means. Oh, it's welded shut. I really don't think I can get this hatch open. Delay. 
It must be very hot down there. It's humming. There's steam coming out of it. It's stuck and I can't squeeze through that tiny opening. The following is a security announcement. This one's cold. It's quiet. There's no steam coming out of this vent. Avoid crowds. Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay connected to your dream machine. Coming. There's steam coming out of it. Citizens, it's warm. Personnel. There's a hum, like this one looks active, whatever that means. Do not resist. Do not question. Well, ding! Well, ding! Well, ding! Well, ding! Hey, uh, excuse me? I need to get inside? Certainly, human. Please be advised that approaching the door will activate perimeter defenses. Oh, uh... You will experience momentary discomfort as 80,000 volts are applied to your fleshy bits. Fortunately, the discomfort will be momentary as your neural pathways will quickly melt and your heart will explode. Ah. So, um, when can I pass through without anything exploding or melting? When I've finished welding, the human inside will be able to properly regulate perimeter defenses again. Yeah. You know what? I think I'll come back later. Good call, human.
That's the girl I saw on the street. She's completely lost in dream time. What do you want? Go away, I'm dreaming. Can you please disconnect from that thing and talk to me? I don't know you. Leave me alone. I need to get through to her somehow. She's connected to a dream machine. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Cheery stuff. Ah, so, um, when can I pass through without anything exploding or melting? When I've finished welding, the human inside will be able to properly regulate perimeter defenses again. Yeah, you know what, I think I'll come back later. Good call, human. Do not resist. Do not question. Are you ready to read it? Press for success, not failure. Gross. Gross. I can't imagine the Alliance doing particularly well in the elections. It's really a two-horse race between Uminska and Kaiser Konstantin. Why be outside when you can be inside in Nope, that doesn't fit the lock on this hatch. Nope, doesn't fit. Nope, that doesn't fit the lock on this hatch. Nope, doesn't fit. Life is dreary and meaningless, but your dreams don't have to be. With the new Wattie Dream Machine, the eye of the sky watches so that you don't have to. Help us to help you. Why be outside so when you can be inside and enjoying an infinite selection of dreams tailored to your desires? Nope, that doesn't fit the lock on this hatch. The new dream machine by Wanty opens up a world of entertainment. Talk to me now for more information. Chase and desist, citizen. You are about to commit an act of terrorism against government property. I have been authorized to use deadly force if you do not immediately cease and desist. Why be out? 
I'm in plain sight at that guard. I need him to not see me or I'll be arrested. Sent to a prison camp, tortured, murdered, or, you know, fined. It's cool to the touch. The Collapse, August 8th, 2209. The day everything went to hell. I remember only fragments. May it's I a scary have a day. Your time to tell you about the new Wati Dream Machine? I do have a minute, and I am interested in learning more about the Dream Machine. Please give me your whole pitch. Leave nothing out. The new Dream Machine by Monty provides a safe and productive way to entertain yourself, alone or together with friends. Monty's official dream store offers a wide selection of designer-created dreams, tailored to their every need and desire, including particular dreams for adult dreamers. The new Dream Machine also offers an easy way to create your own dreams with the present templates of these oily routes. And now with version 3.0 of Dream OS, you can simply reveal your most intimate desires and a personal... I have a dreamer already. Thanks all the same. My pleasure. Happy dreaming. <laughs> Greetings, consumer. You are looking absolutely radiant today. May I have a minute of your time to tell you about the new Wati Dream Machine? I wonder what what Yes, I do. The new Dream Machine by Wati provides a safe and productive way to entertain yourself alone. Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay in touch with your Wati Dream Machines. The streets are dangerous. Avoid the streets. Crowds are unsafe. Avoid crowds. The new dream machine by Monty opens up your world of entertainment. Talk to me. Greetings, consumer. You are looking absolutely radiant today. May I have a minute of your time to tell you about the new Wati dream machine? I want... Yes. The new dream machine by Wati provides a safe and productive way to entertain yourself, alone or together with friends. Wati's official dream store offers a wide selection of designer-created dreams, tailored to every need and desire, including particular dreams for adult dreamers. That doesn't look comfortable. Poor girl, having to live like this. It's a picture of two. That's the girl I saw earlier. And the other one, is that Hannah? It must be. She matches Nella's description. Wait, are these drawings of the mountains I saw in my dreams? And that creature, the, uh, the Ula. How is that possible? How could Hannah know about my dreams?
That's the girl I saw on the street. She's completely lost in dream Get time. out of here! You're ruining my dream! I need to get through to her somehow. It would help if I knew something about her relationship to Hannah. You're friends with Hannah, right? What? From the picture. It looks like you're good friends. I don't know what you're talking about. Just go away! Hannah's in trouble, and I need your help finding her. I don't know where she is. We're not friends anymore. What happened? She wanted me to stop using the dream machine. Says it's a sickness, that I'm addicted. We were best friends. More than that. But now... I haven't seen her in ages. The last time we spoke, she was upset and... scared. Why was she scared? She didn't want to tell me. She just... She said she needed to disappear for a while. She left her nest. Found somewhere else to hide. I don't know where. I think she was afraid they'd get rid of her after she finished the job. Who are they? I don't know, all right? I told you already. I haven't spoken to her since. And you have no idea where I can find her? Maybe she mentioned something to you. Somewhere she could be hiding. No, I... There was another nest, at the end of the bricks. She brought me there once. She called it her secret burrow. No one goes there. It uses a different key from all the other shelters. When she wasn't looking, I... I grabbed an extra key that was lying around in case he ever needed to hide. Maybe that's where Hannah is. But I honestly don't know. Please leave me alone. Where's the key? I don't fucking know! It's around here somewhere. I don't know, can I go back to my dream now? The dream machines, they're... dangerous. I think they're dangerous. You shouldn't be hooking up. What else is there to do in this rat hole? Study for my law degree? Just fuck off back to your cushy upstairs life. And leave me alone. Nothing in here.
Nope, that doesn't fit the lock on this hatch. Nope, doesn't fit. Nope, that doesn't fit the lock on this hatch. fits into the lock, but I can't pull it open without some sort of handle. Get the fuck out of here! Are you had? Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Just, just put that knife down. Who are you? What do you want? The best. My name's Zoe. I don't know any Zoe. Queenie sent me. She's worried about you. Tell her not to worry. Tell her I'm just peachy. Now get out. I can't just tell Queenie you're peachy. She'll ask questions. She wants to know if... I'm fine. Really. I don't... Abby, if you're fine, why are you running? Who said I'm running? Abby did. She told me... Abby? So that's how you found me? She blabbed that... That duper! She's always been weak. I didn't give her much choice. I had to find you. She won't tell anyone. She's always trouble. And she's addicted to the dream machine. She really misses you. She's not my responsibility. We're not... I'm not her girlfriend, not... I'm not good for her. She's not safe around me. She'll get her. Why? Who's after you? All these questions. Who are you again? Zoe Castillo. Right, and how is any of this your business, Zoe Castillo? Who do you work for? No one. Seriously, enough with the paranoia. Queenie wanted me to find you. She's concerned. That's the only reason I'm here. You could show some appreciation for the people in your life who do care. In my experience, they usually want something in return. You might be surprised. Don't underestimate people. <sighs> Don't overestimate people. <sighs> Look. I did stuff, a job, a dangerous job for some very dangerous people, and now I have to watch my back. Then let us help you. You can't help me. Queenie can't help me. No one can. If they find me, you really don't know who you're dealing with, and there's no way to stop them, all right? So just leave me be. Could she be running from Mr. London? I've run into Mr. London myself. I know how scary he can... Mr. London? Right, sure. Scary. The people I'm hiding from are a lot worse than London. I'm done talking. Go back to Queenie. Tell her to not worry about me. I don't think that'll be enough to make her stop worrying. <sighs> Fine. One second. Give her this. Tell her I got your message, that you did your job and that. Tell her that I'm working on it. Those paintings in your room, did you paint them yourself? You were in my nest. I, I was looking for you. That doesn't give you the right to break into my home, Suka. Those are my drawings. Why? I... 
recognize the images from dreams. Look, I know this sounds crazy and I can't explain it, but... from but... dreams, my dreams. And no, I don't use a dream machine. I just have weird dreams. Why would we have the same dreams? How do I know you're not lying? I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Just go away. I just... <sighs> yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. Is it true? About your dreams? I... I only remember the one dream. But there have been many others. I... have amnesia, but my memories are, are starting to come back. And your drawings... I've seen those images before. It can't be a coincidence. No coincidence, no story. Zoe, right? Zoe Castillo. I'll think about what you said, Zoe Castillo. If I think you're telling the truth, I'll look you up. Now I really need you to leave. I have things I need to do and you shouldn't be seen down here with me. Madame is in. She's been expecting you. At long last, the castle dweller returns. I'm really sorry I took so long. Tut tut, this is delicate work. Stand perfectly still. Fly, little one. You look tired, Miss Castillo. Is everything all right? I haven't slept so well. No. And have you found what you were looking for? You mean, do I feel like I belong yet? I'm still looking. Don't expect to wake up one day and suddenly feel like you belong. You have to give it time and attention. It can be hard work. And the truth is, you may not be where you belong yet. Neither in body nor spirit. But I believe you will find it, and yourself, eventually. So... Any news about our Hannah? I assume that's why you're here today. She asked me to give you this. She says she's fine, and that she's... She's working on it? How did she appear to you? Do you believe her when she says she's fine? I don't want to worry, Queenie, but Hannah did not sound fine. There's no reason to worry, Queenie. I'm not sure that will help Hannah. She seemed fine. Good. That's good. I know Hannah's mixed up in... She's had a hard life, poor girl. I want to help her, but I can only do that if she lets me. 
At least she knows I care about her. Thank you for tracking her down. Where is she now? It can't hurt letting Queenie know where to find Hannah. You know those hmm. yellow towers? The so-called wireless power grid. What do you mean? They were never part of the grid. Those towers were built for another purpose. What about them? There are children living in the tunnels below. They call them nests. Like you said yourself, it's a whole subterranean city. Hannah's hiding in one of those nests here in the bricks, just past the stairs to the plaza. I'm glad you've told me. I won't betray your trust and seek her out. I'm just happy to know she's close. The so-called wireless power grid. What are those towers? I honestly don't know. I do know they were never used for the wireless power grid. They were built after they dismantled that system. I have my theories, but that's for another time. You have gone above and beyond your duty, Zoe. You have shown that you care about our community. And you've eased my concerns about Hannah. At least I know she's fine. Very well. You asked for my support, and you have it. I will endorse your candidate. The bricks stand behind Unity and Leah Uminska. Maybe Unity... Thank you. Your help means a lot to me, and I always stand by my promises. Now I have work to do. You can tell Mr. Mafane to come by to discuss my involvement. Good day, Miss Castillo. Oh, before you go... Yes? You mentioned you weren't sleeping well. Do you dream? Constantly. Yes. Pay heed to your dreams, Miss Castillo. Do not underestimate them. I remember the first time you visited. I told you you weren't quite here. And you're not. Part of you is lost in dreaming. And part of you... Part of you is a dream. You're not all here. That worries me. I think more than anything, you need to remember. And you need to wake up. W what do you mean by... I don't know. Like I said, there is work to be done. But remember, I'm here if you need me. Welding, 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 welding. I guess he's finished the job. With any luck, he hasn't screwed up and I won't get fried when I ring Mira's doorbell. About Pandemonium, the domain of demons. Also, Mira and Wit. No returns, Kutria. All sales are final. That's not why I'm here. Then what do you want? You said you're the only one who can decrypt the data. The firmware upgrades and sniffer were freebies, Petal. But this, I'll charge for. How much? Oh, I'm not looking for you one, Petal. I'm looking for a helping hand. To do what? Haven't made up my mind yet. When I do, I'll give you a ring. No thanks. I'll ask someone else instead. Here's the thing, Petal. You're running illegal firmware. One anonymous tip and the Syndicate will be drilling a hole in that pretty little head of yours. The choice is yours. I can decrypt the data for you, or you can walk out of here. Whatever you do, you'll still be hearing from me. One of these days. 
you bitch. You got that right? Come over here. Let's take a look at what you found. Smart girl. Just shut up and get on with it. That's the spirit, Kutria. Now stand still, this won't hurt a bit. There, done. That's it? Told you it wouldn't hurt. Basic encryption, standard syndicate protocols. Let's take a look. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Financial transactions, Petal. Big ones. From various shadow accounts into the party's campaign. Well, fuck me. What do we have here? Unity's taking bribes. Well, yes, obviously. These are just standard corporate shadow accounts. Won't be too hard to trace the transactions. No, I'm talking about the rest of it. There are detailed records of meetings between Ominskar and Konstantin Wolf. Arranged and attended by Watikorp officials. What? Jesus Christ. The mother chords have kept files on everything. Like it's just business as usual. What a bunch of gandas. And look at this. You know there's been talk about regulating the dream machine. Uh, yeah. Uh, Uminsk has been an outspoken proponent for regulation and... According she... to this, if Unity wins... Uminsk is going to give Wati a card blank to sell dream machines and operate dream emporiums in Europolis. Wati Corp will be able to provide government licensed dream time access to everyone, everywhere, all the time, unrestricted. So Uminsk is not the messiah this city was hoping for after all. There goes my vote. To shit. So, wh what are you saying exactly? I'm saying the bribes and kickbacks are only part of the story battle. I'm saying Ominskar is collaborating with both Konstantin Wolf and Watiko. And fuck knows who else. Whether it's for money or power or some other reason, who knows? They can't both win the election. In other words, it's bad. Badder than bad, Petal. This could be the biggest, baddest thing since the last time Watikorp was in the news for trying to fuck us over. I still don't understand what Uminska stands to gain from collaborating with Wolf and European Dawn. Well, I'm sure the answer's in there. Somewhere. There's terabytes of this shit. We've only scratched the surface. But this is not my problem, it's yours. Take it. Oh, shit. I don't know what to do. You're not going to go selling it to the highest bidder, are you? You obviously don't know me. I respect data. This is all yours. Do with it as you please. But if I may offer a suggestion, that data belongs to the world. Keeping it secret benefits absolutely no one. If I were you, I'd publish it anonymously and let the rest take care of itself. I don't know. Whatever you do, Petal, You'll want to tread carefully. Heads will roll. Make sure one of them isn't yours. I'll make damn sure it's not mine. I've uploaded the data to your iris, locked to your voice print. It's your problem now, Kutria. Time to leave. And please don't come back. Ever. How are you getting on with uh, 
you know, things? Actually, I just finished. Where do you want to meet? The Cavana, on Sun and Shine Plaza. <laughs> I needed some artificial stimulants to keep me going. Meet me there, whenever you're ready. Will do. I think just disconnecting them from the dream machine could be dangerous. And I'd probably get beaten up for trying. I don't know if they should stop selling dream machines altogether, but more and more people are getting addicted. Something must be done. I have something for you. Ah, a professional visit. Now I am intrigued. I honestly have no idea what to do. And there's no simple... Oh, shit, 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 shit. I don't know what to do with the data. Let me ask you a completely hypothetical question. Fire away. Let's imagine for a moment that I have a friend. <laughs> You're stretching credulity here, Zoe, but carry on. And this friend has acquired some information from another friend, newsworthy information. But this other friend wants to keep it a secret. You're asking me if this friend of yours should share what she's learned with the world or respect her friend's wish to keep it secret? Uh, something like that. Ah, there's truly no right answer to that question. There are so many moving parts I wouldn't know where to begin. Do what you think is right, Zoe. That's my only advice. So what is it? that you may have for me. Oh, come on, come on. Don't leave me in such suspense. This data is... Records. Financial transactions. Documents linking Unity and Uminska to Watercorp and Wolf. I beg your pardon? Where in Manu's name did you find these documents? Baruti tipped me off. He's had his suspicions, and he asked me to find evidence. And you brought it to me, to the hand, instead of your... It seemed like the right thing to do. That data, it's... It's all in there, all you need for a full expose. Christ our saviour on a fucking bicycle. It's dangerous information, Sully. Oh, we'll keep your name out of it. You, yours and his. Be sure of that. Kasha! And I was going to vote for Uminska. The hand and door stuff are crying out loud. A are you sure about this? About giving the data to us? No. But I don't want anything more to do with it. I'll put people on this right away. We'll need to verify every fact and triple check with our own sources. Will you ask Uminska or Watikorp for a response? Huh? Oh, well, that depends. If there's a chance they could destroy the evidence or hide the trail, then no. Uh, no. We won't. And this is why we must move fast. I need everyone to come in. I don't care if they're half a world away. Everyone! Please keep me in the loop. I, I promise. Now, please, excuse me, Zoe. Of course, yeah. Okay. Go ahead.
Avoid threatening movements. Avoid unsavory company. Avoid any unauthorized communications. Demonstrations are included to terrorists. Avoid demonstrations. Those ads, for some reason, give me goosebumps, the icky kind. The Where's Sun and Shine Plaza on the map? Spence, I hope you get. Dependable, dull, dead. Not literally, politically. I'm not advocating assassinations. Is everything all right, Sissy? Sorry for taking so long, Baruti. I... I need to tell him what I did, but I couldn't let you take the data to the party. I didn't know what would happen to you, and I... I couldn't be responsible. What are you saying? I gave the data to the Hand. You'll be protected. We both will, and the world will learn what... I should have known better than to ask for your help. It's clear where your loyalties lie. That's not fair. I... Fair? What's fair? The campaign was my life. Now it's not. This was not your choice to make, Zoe. I didn't need your protection.
last year. I was never that into Crowboy. I don't know what happened, but now I find him adorable. I'm so sorry I'm late. You really threw us a curveball today. It sounds like you disapprove. Not at all. I mean, it's it's great. Well, it's, it's huge. But, well, I, I guess it just confirms my fears. Oh. About the election work. Yeah, well, I guess you were right. You know it's not about that. No, of course not. Anyway, let's talk. Yes, let's. General, you call for me. Step inside, Vamon. How do you find your quarters, General? I find my quarters just fine, Commander. That's not why you were summoned. You see, something's been bothering me. Mia? I've spoken to your men at the Keep, and their story is the same as yours. There was a riot instigated by the Resistance. In the ensuing chaos, Apostle Alvani was killed. His body was, inconveniently, burned in the fire. It was a bloodbath, one that someone will have to answer for someday. Certainly, General. I will see to it. I'm sure you will. I also spoke with some of the surviving prisoners. Their story diverged significantly from yours. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. They're a treacherous lot, looking for any excuse to spread discord. Maybe so, maybe so. It is a shame the Warden was murdered. He may have been able to provide some insight. You see, his men claim that before the riot broke out, the Apostle's execution was ordered by you, personally. They even say the noose was made ready for him to die at first light. If that's true, it was the Warden's doing, not mine. Perhaps. But why would they lie about that? I don't see how that serves them. And what did the prisoners tell you? That the riot was set in motion to free the Apostle, not murder him. And that it succeeded. That's preposterous. Kian Alvane is ashes. He walks in shadow, lost and afraid, far from the glory of the first mountain and the light of the goddess. So you tell me, Commander, and I'd hate to think you're lying to me or omitting the truth. Your relationship with Alvane. There was animosity. You knew each other when you were boys. Ah, oh, we had run-ins. When we were both on the streets of Sedia. It wasn't uncommon. But your rivalry was bloodier, went deeper than boyish pranks. It was a long time ago. We were past that. I want to believe you, Commander. Your position here is important to me. To the Six. To all of Azadir. Have I not always served the Goddess and my people, Mir? Have I not proven myself to the Six and the Council? To the Seat, to you? Any suggestion that I'm less than faithful? It greatly offends me. As it should, Vamon. I have no wish to discover you've been lying to me. I have no wish to see you placed in chains. I want to believe you. And for now, I do. But I will continue investigating this matter, because something about it is not right. Something about it bothers me. If you know something, I urge you to come to me as quickly as possible before I learn you've kept the truth from me. I have not. I walk in the light, Mir. Everything I do, 
I do for my nation and my people. Very well. You may go. May the goddess protect you, General. A light shine upon us all and illuminate our path. Night, Ulvik! What news do you have for us, Ulvik? Right, so a man comes into my bar this afternoon. Azadi soldier, off duty. Has a few beers, starts getting flushed and loose-lipped. Man says there's talk of a raid. This very night, in the magic ghetto. And there's a list. A list? The ones they're targeting. The ones they're bringing back out again. But why now? I mean, it's... it's not payback, is it? He did mention the weapons shipment that got blown sky-eye last week. Caused a fair bit of ruckus, that. Was the talk of this place for days. Seems some people enjoy a good explosion. Apparently, the commander of the Azadi Special Forces took it as a personal insult. A commander of... Vamon. He would take that personally. Also, man said, there's been more weapons and supplies being smuggled into the city, right under Azadi noses. Well, they've caught a few shipments, so they know people are arming themselves in the ghetto, that there's trouble brewing. Mole's been more cooperative than usual. Whatever you did for her, Kian, it appears to have been appreciated. So, the way I see it, the Azadi might want to make a decisive strike tonight, before they lose control of Old Town. Well, they're not wrong. So, we need to find out who's on this list, and we need to know when they're going to strike, and from where, and we need Patient to- Patient Inu. One thing at a time. First, we must learn if, when, and where this raid is taking place. Then we must warn our friends, including the Mole. And then we must get our own people to safety, before the Azadi come. I have a few contacts I can poke. Liko? I'll start with our people in the ghetto. Kian, if you could pay the mole a courtesy call. That won't take long. Is there anything else I can do? I doubt it. Let's meet back here before midnight. Will do. Good luck, the both of you. Watch your back. <laughs> <laughs>